Hi, I'm John Madrini. We're here backstage at Rochambeau. Here's just one of the looks you're going to see on the runway today. Well, I heard you say Mark Mother's Boss. It's just amazing to hear that, that you guys collaborated with him. Yeah, it was incredible. In, in, it started in the strangest way. We were looking at a mood board, and Henry Rollins' first album, like Hot Animal Machine, was up there, and we were like, who did these little drawings? We looked into it, and it was Mark. And in the strangest way, a friend connected us and was just like, hey, we have this weird idea. What do you think? And he was like, let's do it. So he's just been like pushing us through it. So we've been interpreting his work and the clothing, the music, the set. It really kind of became like an inspiring and all-encompassing effort to, uh, to work with like his body of work. And normally we build like a static, beautiful set. This is more of an interactive set, so it should be interesting for the audience to kind of see what's going on behind this screen that we have on the stage. I saw the invite and the paint splatters, so tell us a little bit about that. One of the things that was exciting was Mark is known for his history of work, but he has so many new pursuits that he's still working on, and one of them is like these fully encompassing paint drips. So we were able to kind of take that body of work and incorporate it into the clothing, and I think that's an exciting take. So whereas we started from a punk reference and brought in a lot of these cool art world elements, our take of just finding a classic men's suit in like a suiting fabric or like a hound suit and then hitting it with the drips of paint was like our punk play on that. Yeah, I think we see so much of the same going on in fashion right now that taking a little risk and you know putting ourselves out there is something that we feel passionate about. Well, talk about taking risks, I saw the most beautiful tweed coat with this fantastic red paint splatter on it. Yeah, it's exciting. I mean, we had that in market uh, in Paris and like couldn't help to already start wearing it. So that's always a good sign when like you can't keep your samples on the rack. I know that you guys have expanded the line and, and I saw a bunch of other accessories. Tell me about that. Are they your accessories? Or they... So we did a collaboration this season and you know we never dabbled in that world before. We thought especially with this punk influence and inspiration for the season, it really you know tied everything together. Having some hardware, chains, rings, things that are, you know, what you think of when you think of punk kind of brings everything together. And it's like a nice little flash and pop on the runway. I saw uh, Henry Rollins in that black flag, you know, era yeah. on your on your mood board. Tell me about that. Well, it was interesting to start there and then see if we could go a subculture within a subculture. Yeah, I think so, when people yeah. think of him, they think of Black Flag movement. We kind of wanted to take his, you know, before he was in Black Flag, when he was younger and skating, a little bit more playful. And when we found the album cover, it kind of tied all that playfulness together. There was pop color, Mark had designed it. So it was a really great way for us to incorporate color and some of Mark's designs into the collection. You guys always have a fair amount of color in your collection. Good design detail for a guy is that you can wear a cool piece and the color can be what it is that makes it distinct without it being like too much or overthinking it. So yeah, that's what we've really been working on. There's only so much you can do with a men's silhouette, so introducing a pop color that's a little bit more risky where somebody doesn't feel like they're wearing something that calls too much attention, I think it allows guys to take a little risk and feel comfortable but not feel outrageous. How did you guys achieve like that jacket? Did you ruin any pieces? No, there's definitely things that get lost, uh, but you learn a lot through it. So we were there was just a ton of testing, even to last night, like some of the performers' outfits. It was kind of just perfecting ways to translate it into clothing. So it's like taking art and making it into something that's wearable was the challenge, but I think we pulled it off this season. And you know, and treating clothing and making everything one of. I feel like it makes a consumer and whoever owns it feel like it's something special, which is nice because you know everybody's wearing the same thing these days. It's nice to have a one-off piece. We did some crop this season. We worked with ribs. Uh, there's crop turtlenecks coming down, which there's I think are really going to be cool. And it's just a classic men's fabric with, with a twist on it, which is nice. I think you'll think uh, old school '80s punk in a you know 2008 twist. Any pieces you're keeping for yourself you gotta have from this collection that, I mean, I, I'm sure you wear everything, but some of the more iconic pieces that you the really... are really special, yeah. you know, they're down to the floor, they really, you know, they kind of heat you up, and it's nice, you know, in the winter to have something that, you know, you're warm and comfortable in, and you don't have to worry about how it looks, because it flows so nicely. Do you go over budget on the fabrics? You know, we just finished a partnership with the Woolmore Company, which is amazing, and it's opened up a lot of different suppliers in the fabric world to us that have come on as great partners. We had a lot of great people come to the table this season that helped us keep it within the boundaries, so it was nice. What are the price points? Uh, it's contemporary. Uh, we like to think of like ourself as a consumer, so it's like we literally price it normally like buy that that's the price well we're also really conscious of price point knowing that there are so many designers out there and guys have so many options for what they can buy even if it means sacrificing our margin we want guys to feel like it's affordable and something fun and different from everything else that they could be buying 